Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Wise Words Wednesdays with Rev Deb. This is week 25 of my internship, and we are doing book two and lesson eight, which is more peace. We talked about peace before and how it's really important for you to have peace in your life. There are so many ways to increase your peace. One is being healthy, right? If you eat something and you... Uh, makes you feel sick and you're like, oh, why did I do that? I know I shouldn't have had those fries. They're too greasy. And now it's upset my stomach. You can't be at peace if your body is not healthy and feeling comfortable. So start to look at how you're living and if you can make some healthy choices. And how does that affect you? Because not all choices that are healthy are good for your body because your body is different than anybody else's body. So do a little experiment. You know, what happens when I eat broccoli? And, you know, is that a good thing for me or, you know, spinach or a greasy hamburger, right? So once your body is at peace because you have figured out how it works best and which foods it likes, ask it, by the way, should I eat this or that? You're, you're immediately, you're going to get the answer and listen to it. And then just like I said, keep piling on all the good choices till your body feels amazing. And then... You can do other things, like if you go for a walk in nature and the breeze hits your face. For me, that's the Holy Spirit, right? The wind, right, was breathed on them. And and you can be relaxed and feeling that gentle breeze. You could go near a babbling brook or stream like I have out in front of my house and listen to the water and watch little drops as they travel down the stream. You can also like look out in nature there's plants and flowers and just be still and listen to the rustling of the leaves, right? You could also, when you're eating, eat slow, taste your food, chew it, experience all the flavors, see if you can get all of the flavors that are in there. And also, you know, holding hands with someone you love, hugging yourself, right? Um, giving yourself a attaboy, a little pat on the shoulder when you've done something good. These are all ways to cultivate more peace in your life. Now, remember, I would love to know your experiments. What's working for you? What isn't? Let me know in the comments. I would love to share some of my top tips for all of these things if you um, need help finding out what works for you. Now, we are trying to raise money for people who are unhoused. If you have some money and would you like to help me with that cause, you can certainly make a donation at the end. Now remember, life, I'm loving every minute of it. Love is the answer. Mwah. Love you all. See you next week. Bye.